thank you very much for your time, Margaret. Um, really appreciate you joining us today to um, discuss some of the financial fitness programs and the things that you've um, seen benefit for. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, where I come from, I'm an old lady, but I've been around for a while. But I, um, I've i actually lived in Brisbane, Kingaroy, Gainda, um, and then I, we went to Darwin when I was a teenager and I did my high schooling up there. And then we came down to Brisbane. I went to Brisbane to do my nursing, got married and went to live in Cooktown and um, okay. became a farm life. So I did nursing, et cetera, there. Yeah. And then um, moved down. We're now at the Sunshine Coast. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been working in... Um, I suppose, building communities for the last 25 years or so now. Yep. And um, what I love is uh, the financial fitness and helping people get out of debt because I've done that myself. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. That's awesome. And building communities is so rewarding. I've found watching people grow and developing and reaching their goals is so awesome. And so how has the financial fitness program helped you get out of debt? What, what about it was able to um, get to that I am debt free now? Well, because we followed the principles in there, um, we have been able to pay off $450,000 in debt as well as our credit cards. So we're completely debt free. We own our two cars. We yes been for things that we never thought we'd do, like going overseas holidays and um, being able to help charities, et cetera. So I think mainly sticking to the basics of um, budgeting, setting aside money for the 10% account, setting aside money for your emergency account so when something happens, you've actually got the money there for it. Um, and I think Which is uh, so good. <laughs> Yeah, revisiting your budget regularly is also a good idea because it's very easy to get sidetracked and think, oh, yeah, we're right, we're right, and then you need to go back and look at it. So, yeah, I think that's yeah, definitely. principles. I mean, we sold property. We had to take our – we sold our home up in Cooktown, but what was the point of owning it anymore? You know, that's what you learn, even though you loved it and you built it yourselves, that, you weren't going to live there again. So you've got to sort of take the emotion out. I suppose that's one of the things I've learned, take the emotion out of your finances. And um, that's helped us yep. get ahead. But it hasn't just been me. It's been my husband and I. Bruce is very good with budgeting and keeping me on track. <laughs> And that's important too because it's definitely a team effort. I know for myself and my husband, we we can't have one person just hijacking it or completely saying, I don't know anything about it. Working together as a team is, is hugely invaluable to help yeah. keep each other on track but help yeah. moving forward to those goals, you know, especially on the hard times when you're like, I am so sick of this. This is so difficult. Why is it so difficult when we can just push through that little bit more and then you're there, then it's, it's have that achievement. Yeah. So yeah. just listening to what you were talking about, have you found that now that you're financially free that you don't need to go back and look at your budget? Once you're done, you're done? Or how regular do you think it is to go back and look at your budget? I think if you, everything's going smoothly, you could probably do it every couple of months you know, um, but I budget for 13 months at a time. So, um, for example, if you've got registration to pay and it's due this month, well, um, say it's $650. Say 600 it's easier to work out. So every month I put across $50, mm -hmm. you know, so that that's there when the bill comes. And, um, of course, things change in prices. You know, your Medi Medibank goes up or your registration goes up. So that's why I think you've got to revisit. it. And your living expenses keep going up. So you need to yeah. look at that as well. But I think the other thing Always. is, I think the other thing is um, it made me more aware of checking up on better deals, 
you know, like with your insurance or with your phone. I mean, our phone, we were paying, I think it was about $150 for phone and internet. And now we pay, I pay $75 for phone and internet just because I did a bit of research. Yeah. Um, yeah. The phone, our mobile phones, <clears throat> we were paying $104 for the two phones. <clears throat> and now we pay $50. And we've got yeah. this same, you know, I think that's one of the things that people need to look at. So, yep. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And I know like internet providers and um, telcos, they're always updating their deals, doing, you know, bundles and different packages that you can look at, mm. different data usage. You know, do you really need 35,000 gigabytes of data or are you okay with eight or ten or but it yeah. pays to go and have a look at those things yeah yeah, yeah. no nice. awesome and unlimited calls i found is so important <laughs> yes international calls now and a lot of the telcos are doing budgets for those they're doing bundles and you know once of you know once a month type things and yeah yeah and it's a lot more expensive a lot more um versatile I, I know international calls now i actually don't pay for international calls because I'm using other apps yeah. where I'm talking with people, Google Meet and um, WhatsApp and Viper and all of those yeah. stop those international calls where you have to pay for them, but they're, they're using that technology to help. So, yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And talking with people, I've found talking with people that are, are finding things that are useful, you know, they're, they're um, utilising the technology. I know for me, if I go and talk with my, my kids or I'm talking with um, different business owners, I can see what things they're using to work with that, that help to keep those costs down. Go and do that research, you know, off their, their um, re recommendations, which yes, matters. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And throughout your journey with your husband and yourself, have you had children? How did you find working with um, the children or the budget and, and making that all work? Well, when I first became involved in this um, amazing opportunity, I actually had a um, three-month-old baby. It was our youngest, which was number six, really. We had five children and one foster son. And um, so we were on the farm and then we were broke and we didn't have any money, really. Anything you had, you put into the farm. And, but we were very happy and we great, we've got great kids as a result. They learnt great work ethic, et cetera. Um, and I think you've just got to prioritise your time. And me being a sanguine, which is, there's one of the great books out there called Personality Plus, and... Um, <clears throat> You know, oh, she'll be right with Bruce's attitude and mine was, oh, let's have fun. So between us, we had to learn discipline to fit <laughs> things in. I think I was on 10 committees. Um, we ran a dairy, a takeaway food shop oh, and a wow. band and we had all these children. And then the last one <laughs> came along and, and she shook our cage and made us realise we needed to look at our lives. And um, so that all happened and that's why I'm where we are now is because of, I think she was the reason for all that. Um, but we've also been able yeah. to teach our children the same principles with the finances. Um, for example, yeah. that youngest daughter, she's now 26 and um, <clears throat> 27 on the 4th of November, actually. And yeah. um, she was able to pay cash for her wedding. She's paid off all her debts. The only debt they've got now is they've just bought themselves a house, but they had a $30,000 worth of deposit on it. So, yeah, and that makes a huge difference. You know, for a young couple, and they've got a little baby now. So, yeah. you know, even though we haven't seen them because of the border closures, um, and that's where technology is good because you can still see them through your wonderful things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, and definitely. Yeah. I think, <laughs> Thank goodness um, for FaceTime. With children, with your children, they've grown up with the principles and they're now applying it to their lives. And I think that's very rewarding. Yeah. Yep. 
and speaking of of those you know books i love the financial fitness for teens uh, i know working with my children and working through financial fitness with teens to help help them to to grasp some of the concepts because when i was growing up i didn't learn those budgets i didn't learn those skills that were needed but it was really difficult when i started out as a young adult so yeah, yeah another, it, it, another it good matters. book is one called richest man in babylon which is also yeah. a very good book for it's got a story so it's easy for a younger person to read you know mm. and then what do you see for your future so being financially free um investments or enjoying um, time now or what do you have for the future what we've got we're very happy where we are we're very comfortable um so I think my goal is to help as many people as I can get to the same level as we are those who want help um I think that's what fires me up I think that's what keeps me going um but you know there's charities that we'd like to give to we'd like to do more travel when when and where are they able to go overseas there's still a lot of overseas we've got to see I've actually seen Australia but I don't mind seeing that again um, and, um <laughs> you know there's still a lot there's I mean we're a big country you can say you've yeah. been everywhere but you haven't you know um, absolutely <laughs> and I think I mean I've been through some pretty uh, bad health issues in the last or well, since May last year actually mm. and um, one of the things I think about being financially free or not so much financially free is de debt free is more what we are we're still aiming for that financially free um, <clears throat> but debt free it meant we didn't have any worries regarding our finances um, Bruce was able to come and be with me all that time. We were in Brisbane, thanks to the Leukemia Foundation, we had accommodation. So that's one of the charities that we want to have more money to give to. Yeah, um, definitely. You know, you sort of look and think, oh, I might be able to give them $50. Well, I'd like to be able to give them $1,000 every month, you know, something like that. So yeah, those sort of Definitely setting know, those goals. And, and, you know, I've got a few yeah. things on my bucket list, of course, that I haven't done yet. And like going up in an air balloon, I'm not sure if I'm up to it anymore. Uh, but going to Canada uh, and... Um, it is heaps of fun. <laughs> yeah, Mary, um, a friend of mine, Mary Lefer, um, she said they had these sleds over in Canada or anywhere, but you can sit behind a skier. So I'm thinking yeah. I'll do that. I don't think I'm up to skiing. <laughs> That sounds that is good. Awesome. <laughs> no, there's a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, and you've got to have those goals set. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think, um, you know, without, without getting to uh, seeing that you could get to the where we are, considering we didn't have the only thing that fired me up when I first looked at something like this was actually, um, oh, we can pay the bills. That's really all I could see as an opportunity. Mm. And now, you know, you develop as a person, you develop as a leader, you develop in your finances and things change. You know, you start getting more, oh, it's yep. a bigger, wider time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And you get that time and the support through the program. And that's what I've loved so much, like, Margaret is my mentor and I greatly appreciate all of your time helping me when I was very, very frustrated and, and very direct and sometimes outright rude. And I am just so grateful for your love and your help to, to get me through those challenging times so that I can have that opportunity the same. I can start to look and see how my life could be different how I can get through all of these things that were just, I couldn't see, I couldn't see through, I couldn't get past it. And so just absolutely love the support that you've always offered to help us to get to, you know, that bigger thing, setting the goals, making sure that we are accountable and keep just moving forward with the eye on the prize. So yeah. absolutely love that. And I've had the same support from Jerry and Polly over in the States and you know that they're there and um, I know I can just, a phone call away still, I can just call them and 
throughout my sickness, they were in touch with me and everything, you know, that it's not just that you form that um, mentor with them, but you also form a great friendship and closeness to your mentor, which I think we've, we've got, you and I. So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, and the team support is so valuable, like for the, the small investment in the program, but it's definitely working with the team and working together to, to, to reach those goals. And yeah. that's what sets this program apart. I, I found that was the defining factor between me just reading some books and then trying to muddle my way through it to try and get the literacy that I needed to be able to manage my finances. So yeah, that's one of the things that I loved about this program. Yeah. I was just going to say the way the program set out, it's step by step. So you're not getting, you know, like a, um, a fire hose all in one go. Yeah. You're getting a drip <laughs> for you and you're able to absorb and go through at your own pace, you know. So I think... Um, it's great that we're going to do a training program with that because it keeps everyone on, on track and, um, uh, of course, you've got the expertise, so that's really good. So thank you. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much, Margaret, and I uh, look forward to talking to you again real soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>